Welcome back to the backyard, boys and Perry. Here we are in my front yard. I have a peach tree. Several peaches growing on it. It's kind of nice. I didn't realize I had a peach tree out here. But, uh, there's a few of them that are growing. Obviously, it's going to be a little while before they ripen, but it's nice to see a peach tree in the front yard. I have had a few of these already fall off the tree. They're on the ground, but um, there's just a few. It isn't really producing a lot of fruit, but it is producing some. The branches seem to be real pliable, even though some of them are dry like that. This one looks pretty dry, just breaks off real easily. But obviously the tree is still doing very well. We have all this new green growth. Here's a few of the peaches I need to pick up off the ground. <laughs> so that's the peach tree in the front yard. Now here's the fig tree that's in the backyard. You'll notice on one of my previous videos that it kind of looked like an antler tree. That's what uh, my kids have called it anyway. But the fig tree seems to be doing very well. It's very healthy. The leaves are huge. This leaf is about the width of my hand. This one is big. So the fig tree is doing well. I have not seen any fruit developing on the tree yet, but that's not to say that there won't be soon. So that's our fig tree. The reason why I know it's a fig is because of the last year it did have some fruit on it. They were figs. Here's one of the Asian pear trees. You can see. Here, the pears are growing real well. This one's been eaten on, so I can get rid of that. But these are growing nice and strong, healthy, real big. There's a few more. There's one that's over here that is just really massive. Yeah, there he is. This guy right there. There's a big Asian pear tree, or Asian pear, excuse me. There's a few more on there. I think, I can't remember exactly where they're at. I think they're up in this general location up here. So that's number one of two Asian pear trees. And the other one over here, this one has very little fruit. In fact, it's only got a couple. Here's one of them. I don't remember where the other one is. But I think it's down in there. Yeah, I can see it, but it's really down in there and it's real small. This is the other Asian pear tree. It's not real big. And it doesn't have a whole lot of fruit on it. So that's Asian pear tree number two. This is a Chinese red date or jujube. This is the one of two. And uh, all of these little blossoms here, all of these things, these will turn into fruit, into the jujube or the red dates. Um, 
I had a lot of wasps around it last year. I trimmed it back really far. You can see in one of my other videos how far back I trimmed it. Um, but it's it's really growing. It's growing really healthy, strong, and full. That's one of the Chinese red date, also called the jujube. This here is one of the pomegranate trees. It's not really a tree, uh, what I've heard. It's more of a um, of a large bush. But this one, last year, it grew a lot of pomegranates that were real small, about tennis ball size, maybe baseball size at the most. Uh, not very big. Lots of seeds, very dark. Uh, seeds inside of it, very dark fruit, but they just didn't get very big. This is pomegranate tree number one. Right next to it is our pineapple guava or fijua, the fijua tree. And uh, this is supposed to have green fruit. Uh, guava, green pineapple guava is what they call it, um, fijua. I've been doing some research on this to find out what they taste like, and apparently they're very sweet fruit. So all of these little clusters of um, flowers are supposed to turn into fruit. So we shall see what happens. It's um, I don't have any fruit on it right now, but from what I heard tell, it's supposed to be pretty good. Here's the boysenberry bush. I do videos on this, specifically on this. It's it's done so well. I've been so pleased with the transplant that we that we had that we did at the beginning of last year. It was springtime. It's really taken root. It's established. It's doing well. Very pleased with it. Right next to it is our second jujube tree or uh, red dates. I trimmed this one way back as well uh, in the uh, late fall, early winter. You can see in the other video how the difference of how much it's grown. Looks like some of it is starting to wilt. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder what's going on there. It's dry. I'll have to trim that branch off just in case there's a disease or something that's attacking it. It's a nice tree. It has really long thorns on it, though. I don't know if I can get a picture or a view. There's a thorn right there. But you can't really tell, you can't see it too well. Ah, here you go. See that thorn right there? Those things are big and they are nasty. And you get poked with one of those, you know it. <laughs> That's what was going on in the, uh, in the fall when I was trimming it back. I was like, oh, there's some thorns on this. And right next to that is the other pomegranate tree. Now this one has really done well. It's very thick, very full. Um, I'm doing my best to keep it from growing to the neighbor's yard because I want the, the pomegranates to come over on this side, not on that side. Last year, we, uh, we had pomegranates on this that were size of grapefruits or bigger. They were just huge, probably the size of a softball or bigger, and uh, beautiful. They're really tasty. I really enjoyed uh, making pomegranate juice out of those. Got the press. Um, here's a few pictures of what we had last year and how I used the press to make some pomegranate juice. I froze the juice and uh, 
we put that in ginger ale, Sprite, whatever you would like. So that's the second pomegranate tree. And I believe that's about it. That's all of the trees that I have in the backyard. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I hope you have a great day. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on the Backyard Boysenberry.